cat 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 capricorn what is going on baby it is scorpion red tarot that is it that's me i am back at it again yes indeed with your may forecast okay for 2019 what's going on you guys shout out to all my new subscribers what's up what's up how you doing how you limb how you limb baby uh, so excuse me i want to say um Thank you guys so much for clicking this video. Thank you guys so much for all of the love, light, and support that you guys have been sending to my page. Um, if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, you can do so by clicking that About tab. You'll see a couple of the links. First thing you need to do is book and then link, okay? Book and then link. First thing you need, you need to do is book the reading. There's a link there that says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, at Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that and book your reading and then double back to that About about tab and you'll see my link for my Instagram page where you'll send me a message and then we'll connect there so that we can do the video chat okay if you don't have an Instagram or prefer not to use your Instagram you can link up with me on Google Hangouts it's an easy app to download if you don't already have it um, we can use it just for the reason for the reading if you want to you can delete it after that only thing you need to connect with me on Google Hangouts is using my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com again that's scorpionreds at gmail.com so after you book your reading at the connect with me on Instagram send me a personal message on Instagram or Google Hangouts and we will link up there now if you want to have a video recap of your um, reading um, I can record the whole session and then I upload it privately to YouTube or you and only I will have a personal link to that there's an additional $10 add-on fee and it's called a video recap so you can use that ten dollar add-on if you want a recap of your video or if you do not feel comfortable with getting on camera i i do prefer face-to-face -face readings because it's better you know what i'm saying because we can feed off of each other's energy and then we can talk to each other all that stuff but i do understand people not wanting to get on camera so if you don't want to get on camera book and then link me up, okay, on one of the two platforms. I book Instagram or Google Hangouts and say, hey, I don't want to get on camera, but I did pay for the upload. Here's my question. Make sure you only tell me what you want to know. Make, hold on, you guys. Get up, my bad, you guys. My niece is calling. Um, yeah, so only tell me what you need to know, not what is going on in your situation, okay? Because I don't want you to be like, well, I just told you that, okay? So don't tell me anything was going on with you, only what you want to know. And then I got you, okay? If you would like to send some love to the page, as you can see, I just got me a new deck, the tea leaf deck. I love that deck. Love, 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 love that deck. So thank you guys for sending the love donations to my PayPal. Thank you guys so much. So if you want to send some love to the page, if the video resonates, and you want to send a dollar, two, three, or ten, you can um, do so. My PayPal is in the description as well as in, on the About tab. And then I also um, put together an Amazon wish list of like decks and things that I want, you know what I'm saying, to help the page grow. Um, and that idea came to me by um, one of my clients that I recently had a personal private reading with. So shout out to you, baby. Shout out to you and that ingenious idea. So if you want to send love to the page, you can check out my Amazon wish list or you can send me some love, which will go back into the page with all these wonderful decks that I've been collecting. So thank you guys for all the love. Now let's get into the reading because it's too much talking. All right. So Capricorn. Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here today for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you so much for all the love, light, and the enjoyment, and the prosperity and the abundance that you've been bringing to us in 2019. Thank you so much for just grabbing us and just shaking us when we needed to be shaken, Father God, because let me try to tell you, we are awake and now we are wide awoke and we are trying our best to make changes in our life, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of Capricorn, my beloved Capricorns. Father God, we hard-headed some times but we like to have fun that's all we just like to have fun but we learning lessons father god because we want all our blessings everything that you want to give to us father we want it all we want it all and we starting to listen and do what we need to do father so please give us guidance for the sign of capricorn for may 2019 and thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future thank you so much abundantly father god please give us guidance for my capricorns what's going on capricorn What's going on, Capricorn? 
What's going on with my Capricorns for May 2019? Thank you so much for being present. Let's give our Capricorn guys. Whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. You going like that? We going like that. So I'm not about to read all of the messages on these cards. Only which ones that stick out, stick out to me. All right. So what does this say? All right. So we got truth. Okay. And this says when everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. Do oh, you do the talking, dear Lord? Take me over and speak through me. So when everything is done as an offer, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. So sometimes I feel like it's better off not saying anything at all. More is being said with silence than speaking out of fear. Do you understand what I'm saying? So coming to truth about that, learning when to talk and when to be quiet. Feelings in reverse. This says, um, emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you, filling them fully so that they are no longer holding me captive. I feel like you're not really trying to address your feelings so that they can, you know, be dealt with and you can really see the truth because it's like how you running your mouth and, and you talking so much you know what i'm saying out of fear of the situation but you really not addressing the true truth within yourself and i said i wasn't gonna read these cards but i am anyway so it says companionship when you are when you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome the solitude knowing it will open the way to healthy relationships. I feel like you might be too busy trying to be up under somebody else to help you get over a situation that you're currently dealing with that you don't know how to address the feelings about or face the truth about you see what i'm saying you gotta learn how to be alone be alone and deal with you're going through on the inside and address your feelings is that way you'll be able to really address your feelings and when it comes down to you dealing with your truth you know when to speak and when not to speak because certain shit don't even need to be spoken on you know what i'm saying silence is golden sometimes independence the more you learn to feed yourself on the inside and take care of the inner child, the more freestanding you become. Help me feed and love this inner child, dear Lord. It's about time for you to spread these wings and be this butterfly and truly learn how to be independent and not feel like not feel like you can't feel, not feeling like you got to attach yourself to unhealthy companionate relationships i don't want no companionate relationship i want a true love relationship i want somebody that truly love me somebody that truly want to be there i want like that's the type of love that i i want and i desire and that i feel in my life so okay let's give me guidance for capricorn thank you so much Give me guidance for my Capricorns. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Give me guidance for my Capricorns. Thank you. So this is... Listen, the four coins and reverse the four pentacles. So I feel like you guys are no longer holding on to things that you know good and damn well and not for your best interest and do not serve you and not only not serve you, but don't have no value in your damn life. Like, they not bringing no substance, don't have no value in your life. It's like, why am I putting time in and putting my focus and my energy on something that is not paying off for me? To the hierophant, you're going back to your old school teachings. You know what I'm saying? You're going back to the old school, you know, to your traditional values, okay? So, I feel like you recommitting yourself back to your traditional values and what you learn in your upbringing and, and, and what you were taught how to act how to yeah you're going back to your old your, to, to the old you're going back to the old the magician yeah i feel like you are going back to your old school ways of teaching of how to be powerful and how to you know kind of manifest a new beginning in your life you're you're 
whatever your religious factors are that you know it's like you know you'll be blessed if you just go back to who you were you have more power when you were just being who you are and and, and not changing your foundation and um, your spiritual beliefs and what you hold true to as your values for anybody like you have more power when you focus on who you are and in the true core of who you of who you are like you're more powerful and I feel like you're just learning how to kind of take your power back with that magician card because that's a new magician like you don't even have your belt on you ain't grab your cup yet the chimp still had your pentacle you got your wand and the sword in the hand that's supposed to be on the table like you're supposed to be doing an inventory of all your assets and your resources and I feel like you trying to use and assert your power and just do certain things before you really even know how to use it yet and that's why um, I feel like you are being taught you're being taught being retaught this structure being retaught this set of values and how to like to create and how to I feel like you're being taught right now you're finally letting go of some shit that you know don't serve you don't have no value in your life and now you're being taught how to use your powers and be the magician by the hierophant um yeah you're being taught that that ain't true love and it, and it stop trying to manifest a false love okay and this is the seven of wands and you see this person is kneeling down and praying before they're about to go into battle and a conflict um yeah i feel like some of you guys might be trying to manifest back a false love and not even realizing that you about to put yourself in another situation where you going into battle and the hierophant is trying to teach you like listen as above so below you know what you what you put out you get back so be careful how you using your magic and what you trying to manifest because if you trying to manifest someone you know that might have possibly already let you go capricorn you might be manifesting you know this you know <laughs> You manifest as something that you might have to kneel, <laughs> that you might have to kneel and, 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 and ask God for forgiveness. God, I really didn't know what I was doing when I was playing around with this motherfucking magic and shit like that. And this motherfucker came back and really showed me <laughs> I shouldn't have been playing around with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I didn't even know what I was doing. I didn't even know how to use these tools and shit like that. So you got to be careful, you know? And I feel like that's what the Hierophant is trying to teach Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? Just be careful for what you, be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you ask for. Like, I'm trying to teach you as above, so below. Like, you got to let go of things that... You know, are not within the structure that we are trying to teach you. You know, let go of these things that are not within this box. And I feel like a lot of Capricorns, they be trying to live out the box. And every time they go live out the box and try to manifest some shit that ain't good for them, they always end up back down on their knees because now they in the battle of their life and the conflict. You got people coming at you at seven angles and you like, oh my God, like what? Like what did I get myself into? Stop, stop. Like you you can't do that. Like that's, that's what they trying to teach you. You got to stop doing that. You see what I'm saying? Because you're going to get what you ask for and sometimes it's just better to just just leave shit alone you know what i'm saying think sometimes things are just better off you know it, 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 it's like you gotta learn the the beauty in being alone and learning how to use your tools before you jump out there thinking that you know what you're doing and you really don't you see what i'm saying like the hierophant wasn't ready for you to jump your ass out there and think you should, like you know what i'm saying it wasn't time for you to kind of like go out there like they weren't finished teaching you everything kind of so kind of sort of and it's just like you just you think because you just know a few things <laughs> you learned a few new things like oh i'm just about to pick up this this sword and this wand and i'm about to just you know i'm about to learn all these new beginnings and stuff and new love and stuff and you you manifested to some shit that wasn't wasn't what you really wanted 
financial and material changes are ahead. So, you know, some of you guys, I feel like, okay. The financial and material changes happening. Um, and then it's saying material harvest is in the reverse. So, I, I think they're trying to tell you that you need to get yourself rooted because there's some... There's going to be some changes coming in regards to your material harvest, Capricorn. Um, but you need to keep yourself grounded. You need to keep yourself rooted, you know. Because you're going to walk past these obstacles and these challenges and stuff like that. Because you're going to be guided by your intuition. You see what I'm saying? You're going to, your intuition is going to guide you in the right path. So regardless, like... I feel like you've always kind of been strong in regards to your finances and things like that. But something might come that might throw you a little bit off. But don't worry because, you know, I feel like your third eye chakra is strong. And you're going to use your intuitions to help you walk past these hurdles. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to walk past it. And, and, and I want to say, don't hold on to a situation that you know that's not good for you just because of monetary gain because that's going to be a situation where you're going to choose you're not going to choose wisely make sure that you choose wisely in the matter of your heart because i'm i'm seeing that your heart chakra is not balanced your heart chakra is not balanced you know and you need to use your intuition in regards to matters of the heart because i feel like in regards to finances and material like i feel like you're able to navigate changes even when things kind of like fall off a little bit like you always able to kind of like walk through those challenges because you know how to kind of like use your intuition to kind of navigate these things but in matters of the heart like you 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 don't never know which hand to choose for some reason you always kind of pick the wrong hand and i feel like that's why god is really getting you to understand like when you truly embrace being alone you attract the right type of people in your life and you're not going to get mixed up with these unsavory people you know what i'm saying that don't mean you any well if you're not and you yourself are not going to keep manifesting and attracting the wrong type of people like once you learn how to kind of be yourself and grow and learn how to use the powers because what those powers comes with it a lot of responsibility like i said as above so below what you put out you get back so you gotta you know be mindful of your karma and what you're manifesting and what you're asking for so capricorn feels like in regards to the person that they've been dealing with that they've been looking you up online to see what you've been up to Okay, so Capricorn might have been looking someone up online to see what they've been up to. And they said, please don't take what happened personally. It wasn't you. It was me. Okay. Good gracious, that's a lot. I don't know how to feel anymore. And I, and I do feel like that. I do feel like Capricorn just let go of everything that they felt like just wasn't working out for them. And they and they went and did some replanning, you know, because do you see it's like I feel like Capricorn felt like they were giving, 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 giving to all these people who would kneel before them begging. And they're like, I don't want to give to these people like this no more. For some reason, like I put myself out there and I give and I give and I give and it's just it don't work for me. That's why I'm learning a new way. I'm learning a new way, but instead of like Capricorn really taking the time to really, really learn it, they try to jump themselves out there before they really fully were able to embrace and embody these teachings. And they go out there using the power. And it's not even that they were using it for bad. They just didn't know what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> Ended up getting themselves in a battle of their motherfucking life because they still out there choosing. Like it's like it's like Capricorn. I feel like Capricorn might have realized the power of the art of attraction and self. Okay, num number one, Capricorn realized self worth, self value, and they, 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 they bossed up on you. You know what I'm saying? Like they feel powerful now. They feel resourceful. You know what I'm saying? They feel like the magician, but they just. You, you you can't just jump out there trying to be a magician. You got to know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And 
they've been looking you up online to see what you've been up to. Um, and they want you to know that don't take what happened personally. I feel like Capricorn just needed to deal with Capricorn. And they really don't know how to feel anymore. And it's not even just, it don't have nothing to do with you. I just it, I just feel like with the growth and the changes that Capricorn has been going through, um, they don't really know how to feel because they're trying to figure out how to navigate these new changes in life. Because certain things happen with their money. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like they always make the wrong decision in love. So it's like... They got to use their third eye and intuition to navigate these problems. And it's like, man, I just, I don't, I don't feel like, let me see. It says, I still, I, I can, they can still feel your energy. You know what I'm saying? They can still feel your energy. And they said, sorry, to, Capricorn said, sorry, I couldn't do right by you. Um, I'm reminded of you constantly. And, um, I've never forgot about you, even though that you thought I have, but I feel like Capricorn just on a seriously just had to do some things for themselves. And I feel like they're still struggling because it's like they're going through this a uh, dark night of the soul thing where they're doing some inner self cleansing. You know what I'm saying? They're doing some inner self cleansing because I feel like they're tired of making the wrong mistakes. I mean the same mistakes over and over and over. And they realize that they have a certain <laughs> magnetic charm and energy with them, but it's like I gotta figure out how to Use this in a better way. You know? So the person is dealing with Capricorn. How do you feel about Capricorn? It says, am I good enough for you? This person wonders, am I good enough for you? How else does this person feel? You're all I've ever wanted, Capricorn. This is how this person feels. They wonder if they... if if they Because based off how you act sometimes, Capricorn, they, they feel like... Like, am I even good enough for you sometimes? And you're all I ever wanted. I wish I had told you how much you meant to me. Um, and let's see what else. Hmm. I know I made a huge mistake. Okay. I will make things right between us one day. And I'm afraid to take the next step right now. Um. And you are never far from my mind, too. All right? So, yeah. And also, y'all keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Of course, y'all know that. Um, So, y'all figure out which side of the table you want. Either you over here or you over here. But I think over here is Capricorn. And this is the person that um, Capricorn was dealing with. Yeah. So, let's go. Let's go. So... This is the, um, I think one of my followers was asking me which deck this is. This is the sign from Spirit um, Love Oracle deck from Mystic Moon. I believe that uh, that's the deck that one of the, but I know that you guys don't watch other signs other than y'all own. So I, I don't know, maybe a lady might be cross watching and see. I, I think that's the deck you're talking about, baby. Yeah, but I have like several um, Mystic Moon. I, I think I have like all of her decks legitimately. So again, this is the um, the signs from spirit. This is the twin flame journey tarot, and again, this is the twin flame messages volume one. Someone asked me about this deck too. This one right here is volume two, twin flame messages from Mystic Moon. Um, we got um, her shadows deck, okay, and then I also have her um, her love deck. So those are all of the Mystic Moon decks. She is a reader on YouTube. Y'all check her out. And if y'all go check her out and y'all love her energy and y'all end up subscribing, make sure you try to tell her uh, Scorpion Red sent y'all. All right. Anyway, that was enough for that break. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into. Let's see what type of love oracle messages we got here for Capricorn. Okay. You know, I kind of like the energy that I'm getting from Capricorn right now. Because sometimes y'all be having some funny ass energy. What is this? Cupid. Love and desire. Okay, Cappy. Y'all focus on love right now. What is this here? Eyes. Revealing. But I feel like it's still something that you're not able to see. And that's why our spirit and God is like, you wasn't ready to go out there just doing all manifesting shit. You know what I'm saying? You still ain't able to see something yet. It's still a cycle that you haven't completed. Like, you know, yeah, it's, it's a cycle of completion that you haven't, 
you haven't experienced yet. You haven't. You want this love, but you need to, it's something that you need to see. But and, and, and complete a, a chapter in a cycle or something. Because you keep going through the same shit over and over and over and over and over. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I like if you feel like you've been dating the same person, same shit, different toilet, like over and over and over and over again. It's something inside of you that you need to change. It's something that you for some reason, you attracting these type of energies and you need to change that. And this yellow is in reverse. And yellow means confidence, success, happiness, and optimism. I feel like right now you're lacking this. This confidence, success, happiness, and, op and optimism. You're lacking this. Um, and it's like you, you, you want love, but for some reason it's something that you're not able to see. You don't see how... You don't know what it is that you need to do to, to close these cycles in your life. And what is this? The flame intensity. It's like, I feel like you don't know how to put the flame out. You don't know how to put the flame out. I'm feeling like I heard addiction. Addiction. It's something that fires you up inside and it's something that you need to change and you need to close that cycle it says light orbs orbs of light the spiritual realm yeah um i feel like you've been seeing a lot of orbs of light and i feel like those are signs and i want to say it's something that you're not closing a chapter closing a cycle on and you're not seeing that the fact that you're not closing this chapter or this cycle is, is why you're not able to kind of like grow. And like spirit is like sending you these orbs of light, these these messages because of something. You need to blow the candle out. You need to blow that flame out. It's something that you feel that intensifies you and that makes you better, but it's not good for you. And you need to blow that flame out. What does it say? Smoke. So maybe y'all smoke too much or something like that. Y'all smoking. Something you smoking. It could be cigarettes. It could be weed. It could be other things. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the thing. Your visions, you're not seeing that. You know what I'm saying? You're not seeing that. You need to blow that flame out. And stop. You need to stop smoking. That's what you're not seeing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you need to stop smoking so much. You, I mean, I feel like you just need to stop smoking at all. You just you just need to stop smoking. Whatever it is that you're smoking. Because it's very loose. Or whatever that means. Yeah, because you've been living in the clouds too much. Yeah, I, I heard that you, you, you high. Like, you, you, be, you be high. You be in the clouds. And that's why you're not able to attract love. Like... I feel like cloud shapes, guardian angels. Yeah, your guardian angels is trying to tell you, like, you be high. Some of y'all be doing some, like, serious drugs. And y'all need to stop doing that shit. And I feel like the type of love that you attract is, like, high love. You know what I'm saying? It's... it's, it's I'm sorry. Like, I really... Please don't be offended. Don't be offended. Because that's not for everybody. And I know all Capricorns don't drink and smoke and do drugs and stuff like that. But let me take what resonates. But I feel like a lot of y'all... Y'all be like a smoker's den or some shit like that. And I honestly heard a crack house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you young. You young. And it's like... I don't even know how the fuck you got mixed up in this shit. But for some reason, you you need to, like, you got to blow that flame out. Like, for some reason, you feel like you being high, like, intensifies you. You, like, like I feel like you feel like you're more creative or you're more whatever when you high or something like that. And you're not able to see, like, your God of angels is trying to t make you see, like, it's too much smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, it's too cloudy. You can't think. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why it matters of love. Like, you always choosing the wrong hand. Because I feel like you choosing the people that do the same shit that you do. You know what I'm saying? 
And I feel like for some reason, like y'all are very resourceful. Like y'all know how to make shit happen. Y'all know how to manifest and bring things to you. And I feel like y'all always good with money. But for some reason, I feel like in choices, the bad choices that you make, it affects you know what I'm saying? Your material harvest right now. Because I feel like your ass be too high sometimes. And it affects your love. The moon, yeah, illusions. Like, you not trying to see that. You got to use your intuition so that you could, like, you, you drowning. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you continue to stay up and smoke. Like, this is not the motherfucking, um, <laughs> Dr. Dre West West up a smoke tour back in the motherfucking 90s or the early 2000s or whenever the fuck that was. Like, you gonna drown. And this shit gonna sting you. You know what I'm saying? Like, when the evidence of what we trying to tell you is, is gonna come out. Use your intuition to see this shit before it happened and you can't turn back. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't be trying to manifest no junkie love like <laughs> like people that don't even love you and then and then it's like like just because y'all have something in common you know like <laughs> no, no 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 like junkie love or some shit um the king of pentacles stable yeah you need somebody stable someone that is going to help you take care of your baby and you know or because i see a baby there like you're going to like you need someone that's going to help <laughs> make things better you know what I'm saying? What does it say? The Page of Pentacles. Yeah. So, it's like... You got to use your intuition and let your intuition guide you. Because there might be some things that you don't know about the people that you're getting involved with. You see what I'm saying? And you got to use your intuition so that you don't drown and get yourself in stinging situations that are going to have you emotionally a fucking wreck. Like, you can't fall victim to your own illusions about situations and you can't be scared to move on into the future and and you know because some people are scared to better themselves but if you better yourself you might bump into a king of pentacles or you you, you yourself might turn into a, a king of pentacles someone who's very stable that's a good father very dependable you know the page of, the page of swords it's like you might be at the beginning stages of it but at the end of the day like you know without a shot of a doubt in your mind where you're going you're doing a lot of research you're investigating about how to be this better person it's like you 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 creating a clean slate you know what i'm saying and you're clearing your mind and you're focusing your mind on what you can do to make things better you know what i'm saying you really, really trying to get your mind together so that you can stop making decisions, so you can start making better choices, and, and, and these choices don't affect your money. It's like, I feel like you want to start looking into people and their behaviors before you even get involved with them after this. You see what I'm saying? The Three of Pentacles, yeah. Before you even collaborate pe with people, I, I see before you even put the pen on the paper and sign a contract and saying yeah i agree to this collaboration we gonna work with each other and get to know each other and things like that you gonna make sure that it's worth your goddamn while you see what i'm saying because if they come at you with some bullshiggity you gonna do just like you did with that four pinnacles up there and you're gonna be like oh this not adding up to me bitch be gone you know what i'm saying like capricorn is like Chuh. they not they not they not playing this time around what is this judgment karma reveal yeah because i feel like they for some reason like i i, I feel like <sighs> capricorn is, is tired of falling on the wrong side of the judgment coin <laughs> you feel what i'm saying like when it comes down to the final judgment and shit like that like they tired of being in trouble all the damn time they're tired of that shit that shit's over so i feel like they went through a karma review and looked at a lot of things that they've done in the past and looking into what they're doing in the future and where they want to go in the future and they're looking at all of the things that might have just brought them misfortune and just answering for a lot of things that brought them misfortune and they are really doing like a deep karma review because at the end of the day as above so below and they're tired of not being forgiven for mistakes. They're tired of making mistakes. They're tired of having bad judgment. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, they are going to 
a spiritual teacher or someone that has a certain level of a higher knowledge that is teaching them how to better themselves. But at the same time, hard head, make a soft ass. You can jump out there if you want to and not listen and think you are more powerful and I know what I'm doing and get your ass spanked. But you could come on back to me once you realize that these things are not of value for you. You know, at least I trust in you and I know that you know how to discard these things and come and humbly and get the teachings that you need. You see what I'm saying? And that's basically what happened. That's probably what's going to happen in the month of May. Because it's like, I feel like the truth of the matter is, is that Capricorn, they speak out of fear or, or they do things out of fear instead of just being at peace and staying silent. And letting that speak more than anything. Your presence not being there. Your words not being spoken. Is, 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 is you not acting because you know the true truth. Because you know your feelings. You're not scared of being alone. And you feel stronger in your independence. And you, you're not just getting mixed up with anybody just to be doing anything. Just to be doing it. Just because you don't want to feel lonely or, or whatever it is. You see what I'm saying? Like... I feel like that's the thing that Capricorn is learning. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Like, they, <laughs> Ten of Wands, like, yeah, they putting down that burden. Like, they tired of doing this unforgivable shit. Two of Swords. They realize, look, in order for me to know what to do and make the right decision so I can go forward, the first mistake is sitting here with a fucking blindfold on. You can't make a decision if you don't see where you're going. You see what I'm saying? And that's why... Capricorn always is like at this crossroads of good and bad or right and wrong or whatever because they 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 they're walking blindfolded and just taking shit as it comes. You know what I'm saying? And Capricorn is like that is like not a good idea for like someone grabbed Capricorn's hand and taught Capricorn like that's that's not a good idea for you to just that's 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 not a good on your part. To go for it in life doing that. You know what I'm saying? You need to put down that burden. And take that blindfold off. So that you can see before you just make decisions. You know what I'm saying? Like I said. Research your motherfuckers. To see if they're a really good person. Before you even get mixed up with them. And have kids with them. That's You know what I'm saying? I just got that. You know. Very strongly. <laughs> what is this? The two of pentacles. Yes. You're not walking no type rope with nobody no more. You like I'm not I'm not walking on no eggshells with motherfuckers. I'm not doing it. You're not doing no balancing act with motherfuckers. You dropping shit that don't serve you no more. Things that are not benefiting you no more. People and places and things and environments, jobs and all of that shit that you gonna take a loss. And I'm not walking on tightrope with y'all bitches. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it, especially in love. That's the love is in reverse. Y'all could possibly be dealing with a Gemini. Y'all not doing it. Capricorn is loving they self. It's just hard sometimes because no one wants to be alone. No one truly wants to be alone. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be comfortable in the skin that you're in. Because if you're not comfortable within yourself and you don't know who you are, anyone can come around you and influence you to make stupid ass decisions that ain't nobody but you got to suffer and answer for. You know what I'm saying? That's that judgment in reverse. So you got to make sure that you collaborate with the right type of people and very, very much so be not intrusive, but i kind of like, you need to look motherfuckers up and see like, well, what did, how did you treat motherfuckers before me? Because, you know, I don't want no secrets to come out about you, bitch. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, got, I ain't got time for that shit. My intuition is telling me, let me look your ass up on a motherfucking um, criminal, criminal, uh, whatever your state criminal uh, search is to see if people got criminal histories and shit like that. Like, I feel, ooh, what the hell was that flew across? Oh, you see that fly? Reinvention. Capricorn is reinventing themselves. Okay? So Capricorn just told me all y'all motherfuckers that be talking shit. Fuck y'all because I, you know, and, and and listen, let me tell you one thing. I know a lot of people, they think that I be hard on Capricorn. I, I, I can only tell you the energy that's coming out on the table. I don't know what the hell is going to come out before I start pulling these cards. You understand? So like right, right now, I'm in, I'm in a very calm energy. I'm in a very... Because I'm feeling y'all's energy. So if y'all have hurt somebody. If y'all doing some bullshit. 
that's what energy I'm going to be in. So if it's an energy that I'm just like, well, what are y'all doing? I'm going to be upset. If it's an energy where I feel that y'all learning and y'all growing, I'm going to be like this. And I'm fucking proud of y'all. So I don't want y'all to think that I... Listen, I just had to get up. My, my sign is Scorpio. I just had to get in on all shit. You know what I'm saying? I have to be truthful. I have to... That's the only way people are going to learn. And you ain't never learned not to put your hand in fire with mommy saying, now look, Jimmy, don't put your hand in fire. Are you really taking them seriously? Or when your mom be like, boy, don't put your hand in that damn fire. You stupid. You trying to go to the hospital? Which one you going to listen to? You know what I'm saying? But I feel like some tough love and truth. 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 Is what is helping you guys transform this way. And I'm fucking proud of you. Because it definitely looks like y'all are being more intrusive. Okay? Fuck that shit. Intrude. Find out who these motherfuckers is before you get yourself mixed up and involved with them. Reinvent yourself. Be more picky. What is it saying? Yeah, you don't have no problem with purging motherfuckers out of your life no more. And you don't want to... You don't want to wash these people away, but you know that you have to. Yeah, because if you don't, you're going to end up repeating the same lessons all over and over and over again. You understand what I'm saying? So that they're, 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 you know, you have to, the thing, in order to reinvent yourself, you're going to have to do something that you don't want to do. You're going to have to get rid of motherfuckers that are getting in the way of you truly seeing these lessons. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people get in the way of you closing a chapter of that book so you can pick up the next one. The next book is called Success and Happiness. And I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm a bad mama jamma. I did this shit. Okay? Nigga, we made it. Dun, 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 dun. Nigga, we made it. Okay? That's what the next book is called. So even though that you don't want to fucking get rid of these people, you got to, baby. You got to. All right? Because that's what's going to lead you to your true divine masculine, baby. Ooh, I like that card. Ooh, I like all them tattoos on his back. Tat, tat, tat it up. Tat, tat it up. Tat, tat, tat. Come on. Come on. Listen. Listen to me. There's some understanding that I still feel like you're struggling to get. But it's okay because, like... You're slowly reinventing yourself. It's just taking you some time to purge and learn these lessons so that you can truly get to your divine masculine and truly understand what this this journey has been trying to teach you. And, and you being patient. You're being patient. And God wants you to know that they're being patient with you. God wants you to know that God is being patient with you. You know what I'm saying? Because this was a karmic partner. And like whoever it is you're just dealing with, They'll never, like, whoever you're dealing with is cheating on you. And I feel like you're removing yourself from that situation as an option, period. Like, I'm not about to be no third. Either I'm going to be the only or it's going to be nothing. You see what I'm saying? And your intuition, they go that moon again. That was, like, the secret. And I feel like you knew about it. And you done. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want to be independent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really like having to address and deal with these feelings and shit like that. But you're going to have to go through this in order for you to attract the right type of people. You see what I'm saying? Stop accepting these type of people. Because I feel like a lot of times y'all be high and drunk and shit like that. And y'all get mixed up with these people because they do the same shit that you do. But like, listen, you really think that the true divine fit masculine going to be like that? Gonna be having you taking drugs and like doing a whole bunch of wild ass shit? That, that's, that's not no divine masculine shit. I ain't even talk about smoking a little bit of weed shit. Listen, Divine Masculine all tatted up. He, I'm pretty sure he like to drink some Hennessy or some tequila and shit like that and, and smoke some weed and shit. We ain't talking about that. We are not talking about that. We are not talking about that, my nigga. We not talking about that. Alright, last spread and we about Cappy. Capricorns. Y'all transforming on these hoes. Tr 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 transforming on these bitches. What? Transforming, getting riches. Okay? Transforming on your bitches. Transforming, getting riches. What you trying to tell them? <laughs> Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Linda. What we saying, Linda? Linda. Linda say. 
Do you want? Okay. I am reloading the clip. Boom. Okay. It's a delay in me moving forward. It's a delay in me moving forward because I know I gotta stop fucking with this motherfucker I'm fucking with. And that's the truth of the matter. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Because the sex is good. And it's hard for me to drop that burden. Because when I'm trying to tell you. When I'm trying to tell you. That sex be bomb. Listen. I can't, I can't even hold you. I'm not going to hold you. That's what it is. I, I you know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with myself. But I know this motherfucker got a third because three of wands. There's three people. There's three people in the equation. The hierophant, yeah. The type of, I feel like the type of belief systems that you were like operating in in the past is like, like the hierophant that you were under the <laughs> advice of told you that it was okay for your man or for. You know what I'm saying? Or for your woman, for whoever to have two. You know what I'm saying? Like you were kind of under the belief and in the instruction under whoever. I don't know what the fuck church this is. Okay? Whatever church this is told your man or told you that it's okay. You know what I'm saying? For there to be two. And to, even though the sex is good and shit like that, it's like you always catching this motherfucker in the grass with a new bitch. Or 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 your man always catching you in the in the, in the grass getting fucked by some by, by some new nigga and you know hiding doing some sneaky shit. You see what I'm saying? And it's like a burden and then it's like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to subscribe to this teaching, but it just like the sex and the intimacy be so good there. It almost make you want to <laughs> like subscribe to that like a uh, church you know what i'm saying like goddamn like the pope dick be so good it's just like man i know that he like to keep two bitches but goddamn man woo that nigga oof mm, mm, mm. what type of church is y'all go what what no bitch yeah you it's like it's like you like the attention you like the way this person touch and feel on you you like the attention from this person but it's a burden on you because they always get in court yeah and you know you gotta you know you have to seclude yourself from this situation and go on herman mode because it's like this person almost be right in front of your face fucking other motherfuckers in front of your face like i, I feel like it's no respect here it's no, it's like this person is blatant. They don't give a fuck about your feelings. That's why that feeling and that companionship card is up there. It's in the reverse because you don't know how to feel. And this is not a healthy companionship. The truth about this situation is you need to be by yourself. And then that, that's what this card is telling you. Why did you sit there and subscribe to this cult-like living where you're being taught this bullshit that it's okay to let your lover sit there right in front of your face and fuck people right in front of your face. Like, you don't mean shit and, like, you don't have any feelings. Like, this is, like, not a belief system that you should have ever subscribed to. And I feel like that's what you're doing right now going in this hermit mode. Like, what the fuck? Why the fuck? All of that for attention? That's why that self-love comes into play. Because when you love yourself, you're not just taking any type of fucking attention. You know what I'm saying? And what is this? The justice in reverse. You know? So, don't allow yourself to get in the way of justice. You see what I'm saying? Because justice is not going to be served if you continue to subscribe to this way of living. You know what I'm saying? Things are not going to get better and they're not going to get balanced and I don't really see that you're going to end up on the right side of justice. I don't really see if you continue to subscribe to this Hierophant, to this church, to this way of living, I don't feel like it's going to keep being forgiven. You see what I'm saying? Because it's one thing if you're doing something and it's like they said, God protect children and fools, but you know, fool, you are no fool. You know the truth. These are the two that are standing upright. You know what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? 
and you really don't like this shit. You like the attention from this person, but you don't like being second. You don't like being the main one. Why this person is 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 out here doing this with other motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? Always out here running trying to find a new booty. Like you don't that's not the type of attention that you want. And this motherfucker do this shit right in front of your face. Like you nothing. Mm-mm. It's time to go solo. I ride solo from state to state. I ride dolo. It's time to go solo dolo, baby. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. So, Capricorn, I love you, boo. Y'all done did the damn ditty on this one. Because at the end of the day, it's like, I don't think y'all about to... Y'all not uh, y'all not about to let people keep getting away with this, this unjustified behavior. Because it's like, man, you ain't even had to motherfucker carry me and carry shit with me like this. And it's like, man, if I ain't seen the light, I see the light before. You see that candlestick in your hand? You see, he ain't light it though. He just sitting there looking all pitiful and sad and shit. You better light that candle so you can see what you need to see. Because I told you, you know, use your power to manifest the right things in your life. Take your time and study. Study your craft before you just go out there doing anything with anybody. Studying your craft meaning studying your self-worth. Study your self-worth and trust me, you won't get mixed up with the wrong... You ain't going to get mixed up with the wrong type of people. <laughs> you see this motherfucker? Like, what type of church? Listen, I got to go, but...